Hey everyone, it's Kai from Cool Collectibles, back again for another review. This time it's the Kotobukiya Street Fighter Bishoujo Ibuki and Armika. For all your Kotobukiya statues, click the link in the description below to head on over to Big Bad Toy Store. They ship worldwide, so definitely check them out. Alright, so I did get these two a couple of weeks ago while I was in the US, so I am playing catch up on uh, the review of these two. Uh, but uh, if you do follow the channel, you'll know that I do love Street Fighter and I do love this uh, Bishoujo series uh, of all the female characters. And I think these two, they're probably not my favorite out of the series so far, but um, they are pretty damn good nevertheless. So I'll uh, start with uh, a bookie here. Um, and I do have a friend who loves playing a bookie and uh, normally gives me a lot of trouble because uh, I mostly play Cody and Ryu, and uh, a bookie always gives me a bit of trouble. Um, not that we're uh, pros or anything like that. <laughs> but uh, the statue here is a pretty good representation of the way she looks in Street Fighter 4. Um, as always, I do love the way they do their facial sculpts and paint application. Uh, again, I didn't get the Kotobukiya exclusive, which I think had the ninja mask uh, version of her, uh, which does look uh, pretty nice, um, but I always uh, mostly uh, have my Bishojos with their faces shown. I'm sorry, uh, this one does look pretty nice. I think you, from memory, you do have to put uh, this hairpiece on um, and it is softer plastic so you just need to sort of uh, move it around so it doesn't um, bend out to or scratch the, the rest of the sculpt but uh, it's uh, pretty soft so it's not going to snap or anything like that. Um, the sculpting and the panel application overall is really nice. Um, the she does have uh, some underwear um, underneath there, if because uh, I, I, did, I did get a few questions on that. So you can just uh, make that out. She's got some sort of a leotard or swimsuit style thing under there. Um, but uh, Bishojo's always have that sort of uh, level of flesh showing. And uh, it is pretty subtle this time. Um, but overall in the character design, it is very nice. I do like um, the way that they've gone with the screw in the base now, so you can't remove it and the fact that uh, they've got the clear piece there because on the uh, poison version they had this as a white painted piece which uh, pretty much uh, ruins the look if you ask me so i definitely like they've gone with the the clear one here on your bookie um, overall pretty much an awesome sculpt i do like the uh, sculpting of the bandages on her feet there which look nice so all in all um, another nice addition to the series now with our Mica, I guess there were a few complaints that um, her body proportions were out. But um, if you go back to the way she looks, um, I guess in um, what was it, Street Fighter 3, I think it might have been, or Street Fighter Alpha, uh, that introduced her and now she's in Street Fighter 5. Um, the proportions are pretty much on par with um, the way the, uh, the animation model is in the game. Um, she's always been a bit more voluptuous than the other Street Fighter females and uh, this sculpt pretty much uh, highlights that uh, pretty much to perfection if you ask me. Um, she's got all the usual Bishoujo fan service elements um, so you get to, I'm not going to zoom in too far into any of that <laughs> but you get the idea um, and it does come with the separate piece with the microphone here that you can take out and you just sort of slot it into the hand so again the details are really nice I love the the eyes there um, overall, they always do a pretty much uh, an awesome job on their lips and fingernails and eyes and so on in this Bishojo line, so I can't complain too much about it at all. And again, this base is very similar to the Kami, and again, because they've screwed it in, there's none of that uh, uh, stability issue. Like uh, with the Kami, you just pick it up and the, the base sort of falls off, so um, definitely like the, the way they've uh, gone with that. Now I'll just grab the others in the whole series and they'll give you guys a look at all of them together. Alright, so here are the Street Fighter Bishoujo's all lined up together. I mean, as you can see, the first couple with uh, Chun-Li here and Kami on the right, they are a little bit smaller in scale, so um, that's a, a bit of a shame. Uh, with Poison and Jury at the back there, they were definitely uh, larger um, and... Uh, your book at the front here looks uh, pretty large as well in comparison, so a bit of a shame they couldn't have maintained that same scale, uh, but overall uh, these still look pretty damn good um, against their animation version. So love the overall posing selections with the sculpts. Um, they're all a bit of fun and uh, all have a bit of their fan service as well. So 
uh, that's pretty much uh, perfectly in line with the way the um, Kotobuki does this Bushojo line. So hopefully you like that quick look at the new uh, Rainbow Mica and Ibuki from this uh, Street Fighter Bushojo line. So hopefully you can click that like button and that subscribe button. I've got uh, part two of my Hot Toys, Han Solo and Chewbacca review coming up soon. So hopefully you can stick around for that. Thanks again and I'll talk to you guys soon. Cheers.